Early morning in Nigeria's Christian southern city of Calabar. American peace activist Keith McHenry is the centre of attention. He's dedicated the past 26 years to expanding the Food Not Bombs organisation around the world. Now there are almost a thousand branches spread across every continent bar Africa. So what better place to start than Nigeria, Africa's most populous nation? He's here to motivate them to start their own Food Not Bombs chapters. And this concept of like sending money in and sending food in from abroad is not really changed the situation in Nigeria or in Africa. And if people can organize in their own um, groups, like in Food Not Bombs model, then I think that they can achieve a great deal. Keith wants to create a society based on peace and democracy, where basic human <laughs> rights are guaranteed, like the right to food. We're uh, cooking rice with vegetables, and I also have mushrooms and, that I brought from America, and soy. Keith McHenry's family has a long history of military involvement. His father developed the Minuteman missile, and his grandfather helped plan the bombings of Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Another forebear, James McHenry, fought the British in the American War of Independence. Keith wants to make amends for what he considers the sins of his forefathers. As a, a founding family of the United States, I feel it's my responsibility to do what I can to, to return the United States to a democracy, if it ever was. Overwhelmed by the excitement of hungry children, he approaches the community leader for advice. Give it up. You know, we are in three groups. Right? We, we are in three groups. Three groups? We have three groups. We have blind, we have lepers, we have cripples. Okay. These are three groups that we have. Okay. And each group has its own leader. So okay. we, when we get something like this, we share into three. Okay. Blind, lepers, cripples. In Nigeria, at least 100 million out of a population of 140 million live below the poverty line. Feeding the homeless and hungry in the name of food not bombs is not an activity the US government appears to support. One, two, three, four! We don't want your fucking war! Five, six, seven, eight! We will not participate! According to the American Civil Liberties Union, the organization is one of the latest peace groups placed under FBI surveillance and on an anti-terror watch list. Get back! 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 And then in America, they're accusing people like us of being terrorists. And they're accusing people like me of being a terrorist. And I was accused by the Pentagon for being a terrorist just because I organized a protest against torture. Despite being labelled a terrorist and spending nearly 18 months in jail, Keith took his campaign on the road. He now tours the world to help promote Food Not Bombs. The Muslim community in Lagos is surprised to see him. Very happy to see you. Thank you so we are much. very happy to see an American like you today because some people are saying that Americans are killing people in the, uh, on, on the whole world. They do. So people are criticizing America. Right. They don't want to see an American. Right. But we want to see American like you. When we right. see American like you, we know that you are a brother. You are welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. <laughs> That's okay. Thank you, everyone. This is wonderful. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Yeah, thank you so much. Yay, you guys are good. That's excellent. Well, thank you very much. But you're not very patriotic going around the world speaking out against the American government. Absolutely not. I don't think what the American government is doing is, is right. Nigerians 
look at America as being a democracy, yet we don't have basic fundamental democratic rights within the United States. And they've killed people all over the world in their, in their effort to maintain um, political and economic control of the world. And that's not democratic. So you're, you're meeting Kate. Hillary. Hillary. She's an American and the president food no bombs. Kate's next and perhaps most important stop is with the National Association of Nigerian Students, or NANS. With a membership of about 40 million, NANS is a very powerful lobby group. who had been incarcerated, who had been in prison more than you and me. I present Mr. Kev organization. After a brief address, the Student Senate passes a motion to adopt Food Not Bombs nationwide. You see, food should be produced and not bombed. In fact, if there is a way you harness food, it will be a way of settling crisis. So they must keep fueling that crisis. Yeah. So while they sell arms to the Middle East to get in, they fight the other parts to get oil. So what they get from the oil is what they use to sponsor crisis to sell their arms. Yeah. How do we conquer Bush and his families? Well, that's a big problem, but that's what we have to do. We have to conquer Bush and his people. Otherwise, the world is just going to collapse. I'm going to get myself ready. Some of the students join Keith as he tours Nigeria. All foreigners are warned not to travel to the Niger Delta because of kidnappings and murders. I think that as Americans, it's our responsibility to try to change the world. Much of the oil, much of the Bonnie crude that goes to America, it's used by our military jets and our naval ships to dominate and control the whole rest of the world. Surprisingly, it's hard finding petrol in the Niger Delta, Africa's biggest oil producing region. Keith eventually buys some fuel off a black market tea. His first stop is with a group of farmers. Hello, I'm Keith McKinnon. I started uh, Food Not Bombs with my friends, so, and we're now all over the world. So we were, heard about you and we're very excited to meet That they are solidly behind you. That's really, really good. Okay. Keith plans to give the farmers money to plant yams. The students will help harvest them and bring some of the food back to feed the people in the cities. But the land here is barely fertile. The waterways are polluted because of the nearby oil fields. Keith hits the road again, heading deeper into the Niger Delta. The next day he arrives in Port Harcourt, the commercial centre of the oil industry. Just across the road from this multi-billion dollar refinery, thousands of people live in squalor and poverty. Whoa, you the community elder, Igwe Ijerei, says that life has progressively deteriorated since Royal Dutch Shell came here in the 1960s. We are not benefiting because our country even prefers carrying up the product from here to other countries. Yes. Even with the price of oil going up, you are not getting no, the benefits. Benefit. No benefit, nothing. He says there's no health care, no school, no clean water, no clean air nothing but the constant glare of oil flares burning 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. Is there a way where, where we wrote letters to somebody or we did something like a, a, uh, something peaceful that, that would get the attention? Here, actually, we are annoyed because right. we are hungry. Right. Because uh, an hungry man is, is a hungry man. We want you to have this book for your community and this is our philosophy and how it tells you how to make a lot of food, you know, a hundred people. But we will also, Inca and others will come and support you. Thank you so much. Wonderful.
Back in Lagos, Keith buys the students the equipment they need to get food not bombs off the ground. We need one for cookies. Yeah, we get one big one. And where do we go for that? He believes the anti-war movement will one day prevail. It's this belief that's kept him going for 26 years and has made him dedicate his life to peace. I'm pretty optimistic that we have put the brakes on the aggression of America and that it would have gone even more further and in a more terrifying direction had we not been able to mobilize masses of people on a regular basis to resist the policies of the Bush administration. Yeah, but this opposition isn't stopping the, the, the Americans from going to war with these countries. It may not have yet. But I think that the, the, it has slowed them down in their adventurism. The day after Keith leaves, true to their word, the students serve up free food on the streets of Lagos. And it's all in the name of the new Nigerian chapter of food, not bombs. We believe the sustenance of our democracy requires the most basic thing, and that is food. If people are giving food, they will be able to reason. If people can reason, they will be able to act positively. And if people are able to act positively, then it will be open on them to contribute immensely to their society.